Hello guys, uh, I've been using Desire 510 for the last 10 days. Uh, it has a it has a 4.7 inch display and a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, it comes after, uh, if you ask me, a great HTC Desire 500. So for more, check the rest of my review. Desire 510 has a soft touch with matte cover on the back, which is great under the thumbs. It's slightly curved and it has metal edges on the front. Except in this uh, blue-gray color, you can also get it in shiny white. Uh, the back cover can actually be removed and beneath it uh, you can change the battery. In profile, this R510 has 10 millimeters, which sounds a lot like a little bit bulkier, but it's well-rounded. In pocket, you may feel it because it's a little bit heavier, but I cannot say it's bulky. The body is made of metal and you can just feel it in hands. Uh, it has a very uh, high, high build quality. On the front, you have a 4.7 inch display with very rich uh, color views with uh, good viewing angles, but it's a little bit too dark. Uh, viewing angles are pretty good, uh, but this display has a little bit bigger edges around uh, with this casing around it is a little bit bigger which I don't like uh, the pixel density is 208 ppi which is solid very good I can't see you 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 know these pixels on the screen uh, but unfortunately those keys below the screen uh, are part of the screen they make the screen smaller and as you can see there was place to put them beneath on direct sunlight outdoors uh, you'll be able to use this device on automatic brightness the sensor work just good enough but I've seen better displays outdoors on direct sunlight if you already watch my videos you know I have a little bit bigger fingers uh, so this keyboard was too narrow it's all the keys are very narrow and tall so uh, I have uh, I have point and comma on the screen but uh, they're darkened um, I don't know, I mistype a lot with this keyboard, I couldn't manage it, I couldn't get used to on it. If you have smaller fingers it'll be okay, but if you have bigger fingers like me, I don't think this is a device for you. Android operating system comes in the newest KitKat uh, version with uh, HTC Sense upgrade, which offers these nice widgets, especially for a weather forecast. Uh, everything is, looks very attractive. Personally, I don't like this upper dashboard. You get a few more clicks than on Samsung LG and even on, on Sony. It doesn't look clean and simple, but it's it's usable and I guess you get you get used to it like on everything. Uh, also, I bother that when I watch something on the internet and when I scroll, it drags me by itself. It's, it's a little bit irritating. On the first screen, uh, you can add blink feed. Personally, I don't like blink feed, but I've seen people who, who use it, so uh, that's another option you get here. HTC Desire 510 has one a little bit wider speaker on the back. Uh, it unfortunately it doesn't have two front speakers, uh, and the sound quality is, let's say, loud enough, but it could be a little bit louder. Regarding uh, chipset and uh, heating up and how good it is for gaming, check my other video that I recorded uh, to see how fast Desire 510 is. And uh, I'll say that front camera it has VGA resolution, the back camera has 5 megapixel, but with fixed focus, no out of focus. But for that, also check my other video that I recorded, uh, camera review for Desire 510. Now, in the end, I know that a lot of women will prefer this HTC over some LG or Sony or Samsung because of the build quality, the build materials and the design. Uh, it really feels premium in hand and when you when you first hold it, uh, just you, you'll see the difference, you'll love it. Uh, the smartphone is part of your life, so it's natural to, to 
find some smartphone that is aesthetically more appealing than the others and this HTC is definitely definitely more appealing and it doesn't have a plastic look or plastic feeling like LG, Sony or Samsung devices uh, from this price range. What I really dislike are those keys below the screen. The space between the screen and those keys uh, is too big. They could have fit uh, here like they did last year uh, on previous models. Um, the screen is very good. Uh, it's an IPS display, great colors, great viewing angles, uh, but a little bit darker. I prefer a little bit brighter displays. Uh, and what nobody will like on this device are cameras. Uh, the back camera doesn't have a flash, it doesn't have out of focus, so uh, pictures from this device uh, won't be something special. Uh, other than that, there is no reason why you shouldn't buy this device. Uh, if you love the design, you can get it in white color, I think in some other colors too, in this gray or black. Uh, so if you're into design more, you're not gonna miss with this device, it's good enough, uh, so just go and buy it. That's all for me. Um, you can subscribe to Gadget Compare YouTube channel somewhere here. If you like this video, click the thumbs up below. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. I know you have Instagram. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. And uh, check, check my review on GadgetCompare.com. See the pictures, camera samples, uh, all the grades I gave uh, to this device. Thanks for watching.